Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve. And today, in this unimportant review, we have the Pop Up Parade Ryuka Matoy Souvenir Jacket Version L Size from the anime Kill a Kill. Now, main reason I picked this up, love Kill a Kill. Easily second favorite anime of all time. Arnez and I were both really into collecting it hard when it first came out. And now you don't see too much of it anymore. And for the most part, I have everything that I want. Because it's like, how many statues do I need of Ryuko? And I mainly collect action figures. But for stuff that I can't quite get in action figure form, I tend to go with statues or if I just really like the statue. Uh, like, for instance, I have pretty much all the pop-up parades because they're just fairly inexpensive. And some of the looks are actually really cool for these. Like, I especially really like this Ryuko with just the uh, sailor outfit on which I think looks really awesome. And again, can't really get it as an action figure. So decided to grab this. And this one, you technically can, but it's like the one figure, and I would say my holy grail figure, is as a real action hero of her in the same outfit. Good luck trying to get a hold of one. It goes for easily a grand. <laughs> and I just... I don't want to spend that much. And then they announced this. And I was like, sweet. I, I at least have something with the jacket on it. <laughs> so it's a win-win. Because I'm trying to remember if one of the... You know, if I didn't have the curtain up, I could just double fact check myself right now. But the one Papa Parade had one. So there's a Papa Parade with her in the suit. Not Papa Parade. This is a Papa Parade. Um, Nindorin. With the outfit. I should go check. Nah, I don't want to. Anyways, if for these unimportant reviews, they are also unedited. And go up on our Patreon in advance. We had somebody point out that they're technically edited. But all I do is I take this video, I stick it on here. <laughs> stick it on my uh, template. I call it a day. So they're, in terms of the actual filming portion of this, you guys see everything. But it goes up on our Patreon in advance. And... We also have a Discord attached to our Patreon as well. So if you guys like to help donate, it's only $1 to get early access to videos. And we toss these up there. And again, we'd highly recommend if you guys like to want to talk to like-minded people, uh, uh, like this channel, enjoy the same kind of stuff, definitely recommend checking out the Discord as well. All right, so anyways, without further ado, for the packaging, can't see the figure on the inside, but you get to see... It's standing there. <laughs> it's hard to say anything else. It is Ryuko Matoy standing on your shelf. It's red and black. It's her primary color. Other than that, it's very much a bunch of the exact same shots with some legal mumbo jumbos. Mainly on the back here. But I already actually ever opened up. She's been opened up for a minute now. Maybe we need to get back to doing videos, but I uh, was sick again recently, so wasn't really able to keep up with stuff which is why there's a little bit of a gap and also just had a bunch of anime stuff in <laughs> which tends to do like views wise kind of whatever but i still really enjoy doing these ones i know it's just, there's people that enjoy the content on here but not really too much like godzilla stuff or kaiju that's really exciting right now it's mainly like the highs but highs are like monster arts but those are like few and far between but anyways, as you can see here, standing here, pretty basic pose with her just having her hands in the pocket. Kind of got a little bit of lean to her going towards the back. You kind of see, I think those are the coat pockets sticking out on the sides here. Got the logo on the back of the jackets. Which almost kind of looks like some kind of cryptid. <laughs> On there, you also got the little logos on the front here, which looks really good. If you guys like to see a size comparison, that's kind of why I grabbed this pop up, just to kind of show as an example. Because they don't do too many of the large figures, it's been a, something that's a little bit more recent. But general size difference, which these are usually about 40 ish bucks for the standard one, she will run you more like 70. So you pretty much get like double the figure. For that price, and about the same amount of quality, to be honest. And real quick, just gonna try to angle the. Never seen too much of the backdrop. Angle the camera real quick, just so I can get a little better closer looks. It's kind of hard with the stagnant statues because just the way it's positioned. Then I always have this camera set stupid low because I do a lot of the 
giant monster photography and what have you. And generally speaking, you want upshots of all that stuff. Anyways, closer look at her face. Her gulp looks really good. Eyes are done very well. Has this giant seam line on the top of her head, but that's to be expected. Pretty much every Ryuko Matoy figure you're ever going to get is going to have that same kind of split along the top of the hair. Uh, some of them is not as predominantly noticeable as others. Like this one, generally we have on your shelf. It kind of blends in. This one stands out a lot more because it's just like flat surface to flat surface coming down. So I'd say it's probably the one ugly thing about this figure. But it's also just the, mainly the way they just decided to do the hairstyle. Paint job looks pretty solid though. Skin tones look good. Shoes, basic whites. It's got the little strap on the top there, but it's got some nice details on the side. There's even like a little lightning bolt. Um, one thing I did notice too, at least on mine, is where they attach the head. <clears throat> There's a bunch of axis glue on the neck there. So if you're looking up, it's definitely a lot shinier than <laughs> it should be. And it's the only real unsightly thing going on in the figure in terms of just like the quality control that I've noticed. One thing I do like too, and I feel like I know we use, we joke about doing this on the channel about the customary upskirt shots, but I like that they actually painted the panties right because that is a thing in the anime. So that is nice to see. Actually, to be honest, it's actually more predominant than it is on the pop, the first pop-up parade. That's a little bit of a darker blue. Then you can kind of see Senketsu kind of sticking his eye out just a little bit there. You got the strap here. You got his eye patch on the side here. Overall, not too bad. Not really a crap ton to really go over with this one. Detailing solid. Skirt looks good. You can see the belly button. Folds of the jackets look really solid. Striping pattern seems pretty good. I don't notice any over to paint. It's a little bit of like excess paint here and there. Especially on the sleeve, but that's just to kind of be expected. Because for the most part, these are kind of what I would consider like glorified prize figures. Which tend to be very inequality depending on the companies because some of you like i, I kind of expect to see a little bit more paint uh, issues with them but they're also generally a little more inexpensive kind of like the bamprestos sometimes the sega statues can have that same issue and then you get like the good smile ones which generally look good but it's just like not nearly as good as some of the higher end statues and to be honest i kind of like the smaller one a little bit better just in terms of like details and everything that's going on. Outside you'll notice the scissor blade popped off while I was moving this around. <laughs> but I think the paint just looks a little bit more concise on the smaller one. The one thing I really like about the big one though, is I think they did a really good job at capturing her eyes. I think the eyes and the face really has that... Studio Trigger vibe. Well, sometimes you'll get some of her figures. This one does a pretty good job as well. Her one eye is kind of hidden. But just like the angle of the face, it doesn't quite scream Trigger to me as much. Like, it's a little bit more elongated. Like I said, if any niggas, I would say the seam line here, I wish it was hidden a little bit better. And then the glue on the neck is a little frustrating. And to be honest... The neck looks like it's all one solid piece, so I'm kind of confused on why there's some glue there. It's a bit odd. It's a bit odd indeed. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So you can help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, or sorry, TikTok and Facebook. Not too concerned about the Pinterest anymore. Uh, if you guys like to keep up with the day with the channel and donate, really would appreciate it. If you guys like to pick up this figure for yourself or other Kill a Kill anime figures, just some anime figures in general, especially Pop Up Parade, I'll link the description for Entertainment Earth. Help support the channel that way, especially if you guys are already collecting and they do free shipping over 80 bucks if you put into codes. 
which is also super dope. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.